What's going on guys? This is Miasin and this is gonna be another deck review. Well, combo, well combos, two combos and a deck profile from someone with the name of Bird Strike who sent me this deck list in the Discord server. So if you want your deck list to be reviewed, all you have to do is submit it. So a screenshot, the YDK file and the YRP, you know, combo replay files as well if you really want me to showcase the combos that you have for the deck list. And I'll try my best to review it. Your odds of me reviewing your deck are going to be much higher if it's either a really interesting spicy deck or if it's like if, it, if it's a deck that actually topped an event so before you start friendly reminder to like and subscribe motivates me so much to keep making videos like these and let's jump into combo number one so as you can see this is kind of like a three card combo the other two cards obviously aren't really the, st the starter cards and he's just mirroring himself so he's not playing a real Yu-Gi-Oh game where his opponent actually drew a hand shop otherwise well when you go for a Neo Space Connector and you get ashed you're going to be forced to go for Olivier to send the Renault you can still combo it's just gonna be not ideal but you you should still probably be, be able to do it if this is the correct effect you can send one fire monster or equip spell from your hand or face a field to the grave special summon this card from your hand yeah it should it should work <laughs> anyways so now obviously you make your opponent lose one card whatever uh, as long as it's a monster with 1800 uh, 800 attack or less now, if you have the red layer, this combo gets infinitely better because your opponent has to gamma immediately, otherwise you can make them lose the gamma since gamma has, I think, 1,000 or 1,200. I forgot, but yeah. Anyways, now you make his old, whatever, the surge, blah, 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 the red layer, you don't really need it. Uh, I feel like you, yeah, I mean, you also could have surged the gear feed because it's not like you had access to it during the combo anyways, but this is a card, uh, you're also going to be discarding cards, so the Phoenix Blade here actually uh, helps a lot thanks to the Torn skills, so yeah. You're just gonna discard it and get a really good search now and you can make a rank 3 or you can make Appaloosa So that's the reason why people are playing the Phantom Knights is to really facilitate Appaloosa plays And you still have a warrior on the field uh, or just a monster so you can make needle fiber and then obviously make Oradon in the main monster zone I rarely see that so it's really cool to see that this combo can make Appaloosa relatively early Anyways, now you're gonna make power tool with three materials. Again, I never see that. I always see people try to use like a level three tuner and a level four non-tuner, for example, or like the opposite. But yeah, I mean, pretty nice. <laughs> uh, count the amount of times Cold Wing is gonna trigger. This is ridiculous. Another power tool because um, cards fair. Draco sack. <laughs> oh, hey, this is so cool, man. Desbot one again. And then, uh, oh, 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 Balmung. All right, this is a card I really have to explain because I know what it does, but a lot of people might not know what it does. When this card is destroyed by a card effect, by a card effect, not necessarily by your opponent's card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can target one level four or lower monster in your grave, except this, except this card, sorry, special summon that target. And in other words, if you can destroy this with your own card effects, you can revive back Cult Wing and then summon two tokens and then summon back Deskbot one again. So it's like a soul charge every time it dies. Not bad, not bad. All right, at this point, you're going to go DDR for the Olivier, which is a level 4 tuner, which means that you can go for Shooting Riser Dragon, especially just to make it level 2. The Draco Sack, by tributing a Mecha Phantom Beast monster, you can destroy a card you control. So you can destroy your own Balmung and do the play that I literally just talked about two seconds ago. Like I said, nice stuff, huh? Now, this is the part I don't really understand because the Shooting Riser could have been used with the Mecha Phantom Beast token in order to make the uh, roll end before, and then you would have been able to bring back the Desk Mod 1, but I guess you don't really need it for the combo, so... Unless if I'm really missing something, but I just feel like not having, not giving yourself the space to summon the Desbot 1 kind of felt like a mistake, but again, you're the boss, you know what you're doing, and I don't, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and phase Shadow Mine is going to trigger, so you're gonna equip back a continuous spell, and you're going to <laughs> have a, I don't know. Does this make does this make it untargetable or something like that? Uh, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, yeah. So you have an untargetable Shadow Mine, which can obviously pop during either player's turn. As long as you have like a, as long as you equip something to it, and obviously Roland is a quick effect, so this is going to be a pop during your opponent's turn. And then you have an Omni Negate, you have three interruptions, and you have Borderlord Savage. The only thing that they were missing is Smoke Grenade. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's get into the next one. All right, combo number two. So this time we only have Neo Space Connector and Renault. This is Renault, right? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm, 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 I'm not that dumb. Well, I definitely am, but yeah. Anyways, your opponent, obviously, again, didn't draw three freaking Ash. 
Otherwise, this combo definitely wouldn't work. <laughs> definitely not. But yeah, or a Don, whatever. Even though Ash is once per turn, but you get the point. You get Ash on Connector. If you have an Extender, you win because your opponent literally lost a hand shop that didn't do anything. But if you don't, uh, well, uh, Ripperoni. Anyways, I feel like this Aura Dawn for once is, yeah, is going to tribute itself, exactly what I thought. Because you're locked under no link summoning for the rest of the turn, so this combo definitely cannot make Appaloosa. It can still full combo. So Isolde plus Renault is still everything that you're going to see right now. It's just that it doesn't make Appaloosa. That's it. That's the only difference. But apart from that, yeah, there is just no difference. Like, you can still go Draco Sack with the Balmung play, Living Fossil, shooting Riser in the extra monster zone because you need as many free zones in order to trigger that Cult Wing. See, you need four zones because you need Cult Wing and then two tokens and then the Despot one. So, yeah, that, that's why I said that not Synchro Summoning prior uh, in the combo number one was kind of weird, but there's probably something that I'm missing. Uh, anyways, Borlo Savage, whatever, going to equip back the Aura Dawn. That's three counters on your Savage. It's pretty good. It's really, really good. And you're going to Omega your opponent, and then DDR for Omega, and then make him lose another card. And you're not really playing Zombies, so you don't really need to keep that Omega in the... It, it, like in the field so you can return back something from your, your banish to your grave But yeah, your opponent lost three freaking cards and that's a two-card combo and you still have two negates So he's basically playing with one card not bad and no lightning storm. No nothing Let's get into the deck profile now though. Alrighty the deck profile So we obviously have one immortal phoenix gear freed with two red layers If you start playing too many of this It's just gonna break because it's kind of just like another photon thrasher. It's cool, but it's not broken So you really don't want to draw multiples Cult Wing, obviously it's a brick, so this explains the reasoning, the reasoning why you might want to play like a 60 card deck, but at the same time it's the only like massive brick. There is not, uh, yeah, there is pretty much no other like big brick. And then obviously 3 Olivier, 3 Connector, 1 of the Ancient Cloak with Torn Scales and Silent Boots. Now, obviously, these three cards were involved in the combo, so I'm not really going to explain why they are played. And these are just good starter cards. Like, Connector is really broken. You summon Dolphin, so that's a one card Isolde, and you make your opponent lose one card. And then Olivier is just a really good extender pretty much at all time. Uh, then, obviously, the three Ash. It's a good hand shop. I mean, if you were in the OCG, you could negate Maxi with this, but obviously, that is not the case. So, yeah, at least he kind of wants to play something to protect himself and not die going second. That's about one. Another one of the not great cards to draw, but this one is at least a Tacket Umborg and not a Garnet, unlike the Cult Wing, because if you draw the Cult Wing, the combo is kind of messed up. But if you draw the Death but one, you go Needle Fiber Special Summon from the hand, and you kind of just do as if nothing happened. It's just that you start your turn with one less card in your hand, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, <laughs> just don't draw Cult Wing. Just make sure you use your skill and power, your draw power, your draw muscles, to never draw that card. Anyways, three Renault. Ah, Fire Flame Lady is a really cool one. So that's a much better special summon, I want to say. Much better than the red layer. And it's a Fire Warrior, which is really important because Renault will actually be able to special summon itself when you have a Fire Warrior. Or you can pitch it to summon the Olivier. So even if you draw multiples, it's not too bad. Well, red layer is also a Fire Warrior. It's just, a, it's kind of like a Thrasher, whereas this is kind of just a free special summon. So if you draw like red layer and Fire Flint Lady, it combos off without using your normal summon. But if you draw red layer and red layer, you not do anything. And even if you draw like two Fire Flint Ladies, it's still combo. You can go normal and then special and you should be able to play. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, uh, Tactic Talents, three of them, alongside Called by the Grave, obviously, so it really doesn't want to lose to hand traps. Reinforcement of the Army, obviously, just look at all these warrior monsters. <laughs> uh, Heritage of the Chalice. Uh, this is basically the same thing. Actually, you play like seven Rotas. So Heritage, Durandal, and Reinforcement of the Army. <laughs> DDR that's re revised back from the Banished, but you need to play three because Spiritual Dragon reveals three, and it doesn't have to be three with different names. So you can just reveal the same card thrice, and then you're gonna get it. Phoenix Blade, obviously this was involved in the combo. I don't really like this card though. I feel like it's gonna be bad the majority of the time, and when it is good, it's not broken. It's just that discard cost, but it's not doing that much. You really don't need to discard too many times anyways, and when you discard with Dolphin, it's usually so early that you're not even gonna have Phoenix Blade access anyways. It's like before you make that is old. So I just feel like Phoenix Blade isn't even a card that you need to play that much. To the point where I might even consider cutting it and maybe play our future, but I think this mentality might be a bit flawed. But to be fair, who knows? Maybe it is the correct way to go, maybe it's not. 
uh, you tell me. Anyways, Living Fossil, I, like I said, Durendal, and then Overdone Burial, this is also not the greatest. Living Fossil is definitely much better than Overdone Burial, not even close. Overdone is also kind of like a Monster Reborn-esque card, but you have to discard from your hand, and then you have to revive back a monster with a lower level than uh, the monster that you... um discard it so in other words you have to discard a monster you can't go overdone burial discard the phoenix blade so yeah it's just not the greatest so if anything maybe i would cut the overdone and the phoenix blade and play something else maybe play the ottoman autonomous action unit it's a pretty good card i think this definitely makes a lot of sense but yeah Anyways, uh, Shady Brain Nanin is the final card that you would play, so obviously it would work uh, very well with the Silent Boots and the Asian Cloak be able to search it. And it's a level 4 that you can use for XC summoning, so you can make the Dweller with the Shade Brain Nanin, so yeah. Anyways, uh, for the extra deck, Shadow Man, Savage, Omega, Double Power Tool, uh, two of them were played in the combo, Shooting Riser, obviously really good, uh, Roland, the Synchro Roland, not uh, the, the main deck Roland, <laughs> Balmung, Herald of Arclight, Draco Sack, Abyss Dweller, Appaloosa, Radon, Isolde, and Needle Fiber. And for the side deck, really, really good side deck, by the way. You did a pretty good job. So Pankratops, Triple Lancia, Triple Jewel. This guy really doesn't want to lose the combo decks whatsoever. This is a good side deck. Just both of these cards, I want to say, are needed this format. And Pankratops is just universally good against everyone, against control and combo. And then obviously Lightning Storm against the control decks. The only issue is that you might lose the Twin Twister, uh, sorry, Anti-Spell, anti so you kind of would have wished that you would play Twin Twister instead, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should do it, and if you feel like you lose too often to Anti-Spell and stuff like that, maybe consider playing Twin Twister, but if not, well, just keep doing your thing. Uh, just don't fall into the trap of playing the evenly matched, because then if you get Lanciad, uh, your evenly is screwed and doesn't do anything, and also you can't uh, play the game normally, because you're all oh, you're all also under Lancia, which is like a collateral damage from just one single card. And you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket. Anyways, Harpy's Feather Duster. So yeah, just a fourth copy of Lightning Storm, but a, a better Lightning Storm, I guess I want to say. And then Dark Ruler No More against for combo, so not uh, 10 cards against combo. And finally, Imperial Order, which is good against pretty much everyone who plays Mystic Mine, who could side Mystic Mine, because you don't really need to destroy back row and you can draw this really 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 late and then activate it and the mystic mine is just dead so if your opponent thinks that he's gonna make you deck out well think again it's not going to be the case but anyways that's all i had to really showcase you guys for this beautiful infernoble combos and deck profile pretty sure it's the first time i ever showcase infernoble combos in my channel so really huge shout out to the guy who sent me this beautiful combos and deck list and again make sure you submit your deck list in the discord server link will always be in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe motivates me so much to keep making videos like these and i will see you next time peace